Hey guys, here's another sonar comparison video for you today where we're going to look at Hummingbird's Mega 360 imaging and Garmin's new Panoptics LiveScope perspective mode. Mega 360 and LiveScope are by far the two sonar technologies that give you the greatest advantage today. So which one should you have on your boat? When Garmin announced their new LiveScope perspective mount for the LVS32 transducer, this shook things up a little bit. This new mount rotates the transducer 90 degrees and gives you 150 degrees of coverage around the boat. At first I thought this was going to be a Mega 360 killer. Who would buy the 360 anymore when you can get the live scope to do both real-time sonar and a view around the boat similar to 360 but live? I had to ask the question, is Hummingbird's new Mega 360 even relevant anymore? We're going to take a look at that now. Let me go through and explain both products to you, starting with Garmin. The LiveScope perspective mount basically adds a pivot point to the transducer to allow you to use it vertically in the forward and down view, but now also horizontally in the perspective view. Perspective gives you an image similar to 360, but in real time. If you already have the LiveScope system, you just buy the $99 mount and update your software on a compatible unit and you've got LiveScope perspective. On the Humminbird side, the Mega360 doesn't offer real-time sonar like LiveScope does, but you get an overhead view of the bottom in mega imaging quality sonar, 360 degrees around your boat and 125 feet out each way. It is a larger mounting system that adds a second shaft to your trolling motor where the transducer is at the bottom of that shaft. The transducer scans around the boat much like a radar does, requiring you to do nothing more than deploying the trolling motor. All sonar requires some type of movement to draw its image. To get the high detailed images on side imaging, for example, you need to be moving around 3 to 5 miles per hour. Go faster or slower and your image detail goes away. The Mega 360 requires movement to achieve the image it draws. This movement comes from the transducer rotating in the housing. As it rotates, it draws the image on the screen and then draws over that image on the next rotation as it updates the screen. Like any traditional sonar, Mega 360 is providing you with historical data. Movement in conjunction with screen scrolling is key on traditional style sonar. Real-time sonar, however, is different. It requires no movement and just updates the screen with new information as the transducer gets it. To view different objects, you just point the transducer in their direction. This requires no screen scrolling to produce an image. It's constantly updating your screen, just like you're watching a movie. Most anglers want live scope on their boat because it really is as good as it looks. You can see fish swimming around, relating to your bait, even striking your lures. But it also has its limitations. In the forward view, it's limited to the direction your trolling motor is pointed. Imagine you're holding in a headwind, trying to fish a laydown to the port side of your boat. You're going to have to point the trolling motor into the wind to hold the boat, meaning your transducer will not be looking at the structure you're trying to fish. Or worse, imagine using spot lock and letting the motor rotate as it needs to to hold your boat. Your live scope will be looking all over the place. The same problem is going to happen with live scope perspective mode. You're limited to the viewing direction your motor is facing. Now with 150 degrees of coverage, the perspective view is going to make it a little less of an issue, but it's still going to be an issue. 360, however, is a little bit different because it's constantly scanning around the boat 360 degrees. There are also adjustments you can make to it to scan only a portion of that 360 degrees, you have these three adjustment points, two at the top where you can rotate those left or right to increase the angle of your view. Well, we've taken it from 90 degrees to about 120 degrees now by rotating this down. This adjustment point here will allow you to decide at what angle you want to view your set distance at. We can rotate this now 360 degrees around our boat to key in on a specific side to the boat to fine tune the area we're looking and increase the speed of the update. Assuming you have a compatible Garmin unit, which includes the GPS map 74 and 7600 series, the 84 and 8600 series, the GPS map 1042 and 1242, the new GPS map 7 and 900 plus series, the Echomap Ultra or UHD 7 to 12 inch units, and the Echomap Plus 7 to 9 inch units. Then you just need the $14.99 live scope system and the $99 perspective mode mount. That brings you to a total of $1,600 to get this on your boat. On the Hummingbird side, Mega 360 will work with Helix G3N Mega DI or Mega SI Plus models, 8 inches or bigger. The Solix G2 Mega DI 
or SI Plus are also compatible. The Mega360 retails for $1199 and plugs into the sonar port on your compatible Hummingbird unit. That's important to take note of because if you have Mega SI Plus, you'll lose the ability to do SI and Mega360 at the same time. Not really a big deal though, as Mega360 is only a trolling motor mount, so it's designed to be used at the front of the boat where SI isn't that popular. When it comes to sonar quality, if we just look at two still images of the two technologies, I think you could argue that the Mega360 is a sharper image, but that's not really a fair comparison. The 360 is designed to be looked at as a still image because as the sonar rotates and it updates, we're left with a still image. The live scope perspective shouldn't be viewed as a still image, it should be viewed as a video. So when we're comparing, that's something to take into consideration. Let me prove my point as to why we would do this. Watch this clip here. I'm sorry for the video quality, it's 10 years old, but tell me everything about Dale Jr.'s car. He's the second car coming at 200 miles an hour. Did you even see it? Other than being a dark car, that's probably all you could pick out. Now let's watch this clip where I slow it down a little bit and actually follow his car. That one there, you could probably tell that there was a Mountain Dew logo on the car. You might have seen the 88 and AMP logo. Now, let's take a look at the still image of the exact same car that just went by. Here you can see all the details of the car. You can even read the small logos along the quarter panel. So it's very easy to see the detail in this, but we saw all the motion in the live video. And that's how we need to look at live scope versus 360. 360 is a still image, Live scope is a moving image. While the fine detail might be better in the 360, the total image is better on the live scope perspective. They show you the same information just differently and it's up to you to process that information. And I'm also gonna add this, that they are both a huge complement to each other. In conclusion, after looking at all of this, I see a benefit to both transducers. In fact, if you want the best of the best for fishing electronics in 2020, I would recommend having both on your boat. I'd run Garmin as my main system and add a Hummingbird unit with Mega360 to the bow as my second display. As an extremely brand loyal guy, Sonar is one place where I'd make the exception and run two brands on my boat. As amazing as the real-time Sonar we get from LiveScope is, it has its limitations and Mega360 will close those gaps. While you're probably going to use LiveScope at least 80% of the time as it's best suited for most applications, Mega360 can fill in that 20% gap when LiveScope isn't going to help you. Mega360 keeps an eye around your boat all the time. If you're focused on a piece of structure in front of you with live scope, Mega360 can scan around you at the same time, alerting you to something you may have missed off to the sides. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video if it helped you out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on these two sonar technologies and which one you're going to run. Or are you going to take my advice and run both? Take a look at this video on Garmin's live scope sonar to learn more about it. If you want to compare Garmin's live scope versus Lawrence's live site, check this video out.